As living beings, our bodies must do two things. One is to produce energy continuously, and the other is to repair the damage. But over time, our ability to do both declines, leads to the dysfunction, aging, chronic disease, and eventually death. What is the critical nutrients we need in our bodies to maintain these two crucial functions? Welcome to Dr. Yang's Health Talk. Health is our greatest asset, and let's take good care of it together. I'm Dr. Yang. In ancient Chinese medicine, there is a saying that the essence of yin and yang integrate into each other to produce life. In my opinion, yin represents our body structure and varies by chemical substances, either inherited from parents prenatally or acquired from nutrition after birth. On the other hand, yang is equivalent to the mitochondria inside each cell, which produces energy like a battery for the car. Mitochondria convert our food into energy. Electron transfer and conversion have to happen to achieve that. However, this process requires some essential enzymes and coenzymes to do their jobs. One essential coenzyme is oxidize the nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, abbreviated NAD+. We are constantly producing energy and consuming NAD+ throughout our lives, and eventually NAD+ decreases and the mitochondrial function declines, and cellular and organ function deteriorates. In addition, various metabolic products damage cells and organs during life. And the body has to repair and regenerate the damaged cell and organs. As we live, our ability to rejuvenate declines too. When Creator created man, just like all things in the universe, he arranged the natural process of becoming, living, deteriorating, and dying in a continuous cycle, so that there is a spring, summer, autumn, and a winter in nature. There is a birth. Old age, sickness, and death in humans. But to ensure the human life does not age and die prematurely, God has arranged a self-repair mechanism for our bodies. It helps us to avoid premature aging. In my opinion, aging is not a disease; no one can escape from it. But premature aging is a disease. It is entirely preventable. So, where is the secret of this self repair? There is a critical DNA repair protein called the PARP polyADP reverse polymerase in our body, which helps repair damaged DNA. But this polymerase must rely on NAD plus to function because NAD plus is so essential to our livelihood. It presents in large quantities in our bodies, second only to water, and is involved in countless vital life functions of the body, without which people would die. However, as we age, our need for repair is increasing. The body of these repair enzymes getting higher and higher. The consumption of NAD plus is also increasing. The level of NAD plus in our body is getting lower and lower. The good news is, the scientists have recently discovered another body self repair and anti-aging proteins called NAD dependent deacetylases, also called cytokines. From this name, we can see that cytokines need to be activated by NAD plus, and then. It can activate other proteins to repair DNA damages and slow down the aging. Here, you may be eager to know how we can replenish the depletion of NAD plus in the body. But let's first look at the benefits of activating these cytokines. Some animal and human studies have found that it can slow down degeneration in the brain, increase fat burning, reduce inflammation in the heart, promote insulin secretion. And increase muscle sensitivity to insulin, so you can see it has great potential 
to help people with diabetes, chronic disease, heart disease, and other health problems. Unfortunately, we cannot supplement NAD plus directly because it is easily oxidized and often destroyed in the digestive tract. Its molecules are too large to into cell directly. Therefore, many people use its most direct precursor, which is the hero of this video, lictinamide mononucleotide, or NMN in short, to supplement it. NMN is not a small molecule itself, but our cells have a particular protein to transport it into the cells. In animal studies, the mice that took NMN appeared to be much younger and they could run longer on the treadmill. So what are the side effects of NMN? Studies have found that typical adults can tolerate up to 500 mg with few side effects. Some people think it is better to use lictamide riboside, or NR. However, NR needs to be converted to NMN before it converts to NAD+, and its stability and the metabolism in the body may also affect its ability to enhance NAD+. How much NMN should we take? For average adults, 500 mg per day is safe and effective. 750 mg to 1000 mg per day is recommended for those over 65. David Sinclair, a professor at Harvard University who specializes in studying NAD+, takes 1000 mg of NMN daily. There are many brands of NMN on the market because this nutrient is essential. I decide to take my brand to be safe. You can pre-order on MIMED.com if you're interested. If you want to learn more about the rule of NAD plus in anti-aging, chronic disease, and immune system researcher, you can visit the website of youninstitute.com to learn more. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your experience and insights in the comments section. If you find the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to Dr. Yang's Health Talks. See you next time.